Hey guys, I'm James, you just joined the high table, and today, welcome to the lounge. I've got something special planned for you guys today, so without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Hey guys, and like I said, welcome to the lounge. I thought the lounge would be a better place to do this because it's more friendly, it's more welcoming, definitely more so than the bunker. And it's because I wanted to welcome you guys to my very first coffee club. I wanted to create the coffee club because coffee is something very important to me, as I know it is to many of you out there. Something that many of you can't start your days without. And as some of you may have already worked out, yes, I am a Yorkshireman. And you may assume that I drink a lot of tea. Some may also think I'm a heretic because I don't like tea. I love coffee. I'm half Brazilian, sue me. At the end of the day, coffee is what I drink and coffee is what I love. So with this series, we're going to go through various different coffees. We're going to try different coffees, maybe once a week, maybe once a month. Depends what coffee I get hold of when. But the rules are going to be very, very simple. The coffee has to be black. It can't be any fancy coffee or anything like that. It has to be pure. So we get that genuine coffee flavor. Some of you don't like black coffee, but we've got to keep it that even keel for everybody. We're going to make it simple for everybody who wants to take part. The other thing is the coffee needs to be filtered. It needs to be proper coffee, okay? I mean, if you want to go with a cafetiere, by all means do so. If you want to go for that stronger espresso, again, I'm not going to stop you, but realistically, we're going with filtered coffee. We're going with black coffee, okay? So for the first coffee club, I thought I'd bring on my standard, what I start most days with. Lavazza Qualita Rosa. Or Qualita Rosa, rather. And I have this most days. It's uh, it's my go-to. It's my standard. And I thought this would be a good coffee to start off the review show with. Start off the coffee club, rather. And so, one of the things I'm going to do here is I'm also going to read the back of it to describe, well, to... Uh, see what Lavazza actually says about their own coffee. So their coffee is described as being rich and full-bodied with chocolate notes, uh, medium roast, and has an intensity of 5 out of 10. That's what they've put on there. Uh, they also recommend filter, espresso, and cafetiere. Now, Lavazza is basically the main standard for coffee for so many people. It's certainly the standard for me. Uh, the beans that they use, um, I believe they are mostly Brazilian Arabica. They use some African and Southeast Asian Robusta beans as well. Um, so that's basically what you need to know about this coffee. So, one sip, let's give it a go. My little uh, Goku mug as well. Told you, I'm a geek. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for another one. I just love coffee too much. So if we let that sit with us for a moment, just let it go through. Let it embrace. Let your taste buds embrace it. Let your tongue really get a feel for it. When you think about it, it is kind of like Ron Seal, in that it's uh, exactly what it says on the tin. When I take it, you do feel that full body texture from the from the coffee. It's it doesn't feel bland. It doesn't feel hollow. It does bring that full body to it. And yeah, you can, you do get that sort of chocolatey vibe from the uh, from the coffee. In fact. Uh, me and my mother have this with a uh, traditional Brazilian rice flour cake. Honestly, that is heaven to me. Like this coffee, rice flour cake, absolutely spot on. It's best way to start the morning. Probably one of the best ways to have like a snack at midday. Uh, like I say, coffee for me is absolutely perfect. And I mean, you can tell with the Goku mug as well. At the end of the day. Goku, Kaokan. This is it's designed to perk you up. Coffee is designed to wake you up, give you that Kaoken type type feeling. I mean, honestly, before I have a workout, coffee is tends to be what I drink. It 
yeah, the more I go through this, the more I drink it, the more it... The more you do feel that warm... Now, I'm not talking temperature, but, like, that warm sensation within you, like, it... That it feels like it says full bodied. I don't think I can find another word to describe it. Um, that's probably the perfect thing. Like I say, it's Ron Seal. It is exactly what it says on the packaging. Um, yeah, rich, full bodied chocolate notes. Spot on. I mean, this is the reason why. That's probably the reason why this is my uh, go to coffee most mornings. Uh, I mean, there are others that I do try, but this. This is the standard. Like if I if I go anywhere in the world and I don't know the coffee and I see that, that's what I get. So what am I going to give this coffee then? Like our, our inaugural, I think we need to set the bar somewhere, our inaugural score. I think because there's probably going to be better coffees out there and they're probably going to be lower coffees as well. I'm going to start off giving Lavazza Colita Rosa. I'm going to give that a 7.5. Okay, 7.5. That's going to be my very first coffee review score. Um, we'll probably be doing some more pretty soon as well. Coffee Club, we're going to be bringing on other people to try coffees with us as well. Um, other people can recommend coffees. What I want you guys to do is in the comments below, recommend coffees as well. I want to see what coffees I can go out there, find, bring here, and give a review for you guys. Okay? Um if you're worrying about my credentials as to being as to why I can review coffee, you could cut my skin open and I'd probably bleed more black tar liquid than I would actual blood. I drink coffee like it's water. Um, this Brazilian tattoo <laughs> on my shoulder is kind of a stamp that gives me automatic expertise in coffee. I, I don't think I know many Brazilians out there who would actually disagree with me on that statement. So... 7-5, that's the score we're going with for with uh, Lavazza Colita Rosa. Lavazza do other coffees as well. Um, I've tried most of them, and they are pretty good standard across the board. We're going to go with 7-5 for the Colita Rosa. Um, again, let me know what coffees you want us to try. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, if you like the video, just remember to like the video, subscribe to the video, and ring the bell for notifications. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed it and I'll see you guys again next time.